While pre-visualization is mostly about camera blocking, it's important to have stand-in actors who fit the general description of your actual flesh and blood actors. And it also helps to have them perform some basic animations, like walking to a chair or running for their lives. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use the Fuse and Mixamo system, a part of your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, to build and animate characters for your previous scenes. Let's get started. Head over to Mixamo.com and log in with your Adobe Creative Cloud user ID and password. From here, click on Characters and browse the list of available pre-built characters. If you're in a rush, you can use the preset that matches most closely the live-action actor you're trying to represent. Click on a thumbnail to see a full preview. Drag in the larger pane to rotate in 3D. Now, if you're making a zombie flick, you're probably in luck. But we're going to work on a dialogue scene between these two actors, so we really need to find characters that better represent the actors in our final scene. So if, like us, you're looking for something more specific, you'll probably need to build your own previous characters. Never fear, like most things in life, there's an app for that. From your Creative Cloud menu, download the app called Fuse and install it. Fuse works with Mixmo.com but allows you to create fully customized characters. Go ahead and launch Fuse once it's finished installing. Working with Fuse is fairly self-explanatory, but we'll quickly step you through the process nonetheless. Here, we'll work to match the character with a picture of our actor. You'll start in the Assemble section. Choose a head closest to the appearance of the actor you're trying to represent. Don't worry if the character's build doesn't match. Try to find something that's a reasonable match of race, gender, and general physique. Click on a head to select it. After a brief pause, you'll see a larger preview of the head. You can customize the eye color and facial details later. Next, choose a torso. Again, at this point, don't be overly concerned with body build or age. Finally, choose legs and arms. If you feel any element is too far off where you need to end up, you can click back through the head, arms, legs, and torso sections and change your selection. You can click and drag in the viewer to rotate in 3D. When you're ready to move on, click Customize. Here you can do pretty radical surgery to your character. Even though the arms controls will show up by default, we'll start with the head. Position your mouse over the main viewport and use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Then, hold down the middle mouse button to pan so that the face is zoomed and clearly in view. If you don't have a three-button mouse, you can select different adjustment modes using the controls at screen left. To make changes to one of the facial features, Hover your mouse over the viewer to see the various features highlight. Click on one of the highlights, and to the right, Fuse jumps directly to the slider you need. You can also access all of the sliders for the various features in the larger menu to the right. Now let's use the scroll wheel to zoom out, middle mouse click and drag to pan up a little, and select the stomach. Here we can dial in our character's girth depending on how in or out of shape they may be. You can obviously go crazy from here, but just remember, if your goal is to get accurate previs, the most important things are probably the overall height of the character and general appearance. Choose View, Show Mesh Information to see the character's current height and arm span. Once you've got your basic body shape set, move on to add clothing and accessories. Finally, in the texture section, you can adjust things like eye and skin color, give your character makeup, and alter clothing textures. You can change pattern colors on textures, or use the preset list at the bottom to choose an entirely different pattern or kind of material. When you're done, just click Send to Mixamo and give your virtual actor a name. Adobe Creative Cloud will automatically upload your character to Mixamo.com for you. Before closing Fuse, save a copy of the project to your Creative Cloud library, or simply save a copy to your local hard drive. 
Now, Mixamo will automatically rig your character. That means it'll add virtual bones that animation software can use to animate the character. You'll see a preview of your character performing a basic animation. If you want to add some emotional expression to your character, enable Facial Blend Shapes. Blend Shapes are movement controls for the face that give you adjustments for everything from blinking to angry expressions. Click Update Rig once you've selected the Blend Shapes. Click Finish and disregard the warning about losing your previous character. Now, if all you wanted was a character, you can download an FBX version of it rigged and ready to animate. However, we want to add some previs moves to our characters, so we'll click Animate. Now, there are a lot of pre built animations. Rather than search through all of them, type a quick search term like Walk to limit the number. Browse through the animation samples and click on one to apply it to your character. Most of these animations are looping, so you can repeat them in the animation software to create a longer sequence of movement. You can use the same zoom and pan mouse shortcuts we used earlier in Fuse to adjust the view. For ease of use when we take these animations into Unreal Engine, select Animate in Place, if that option is available for the motion you're previewing. Sometimes the animation won't perfectly map to your character. If that's the case, you can use additional sliders, like Character Arm Space, to set the arm animation farther away from or closer to the body. You can also speed up or slow down the animation with the Overdrive slider. If you don't like the animation you've chosen, just click on another one. Once you do have one you like, and you've dialed in the customization by the sliders to the right, click Download. Now, we want to give our character several different animations, and we don't want Mixamo storing all the detailed geometry that makes up our character in every single animation file. So we're going to choose Without Skin. Now Mixamo will download only the motion for each animation we choose, not the 3D model as well. For greatest flexibility, set the frame rate to the highest available for that animation, which will normally be 60 frames per second. Click Download. Repeat the Preview, Adjust, Download steps again for every animation you think you'll want to use in your previous. Finally, click the X to remove the last animation you added. Now click Download to download only the rigged model in a T-Pose. If you take a look at the resulting files in your downloads directory, you'll find that this last file that contains your actual 3D model is significantly larger than the animation files we saved without the model included. So that we associate the correct actions with the correct character when we get into Unreal Engine, we'll add the initials of the corresponding character to each motion. When you've downloaded everything, put the actions and main model into one folder for each actor, and you're ready to create some previous animation. In an upcoming lesson, we'll hop into Unreal to animate our characters and block out our scene.